Jakarta is a city of energy, chaos, color, and life. But beneath its streets, the ground is disappearing. This is the world's fastest sinking megacity, where homes and neighborhoods keep sinking yearly. Some districts sink by as much as 25 centimeters annually. Storms are getting stronger. Floods are more devastating. And the sea is getting closer. Jakarta should not be sinking, but it is. In this episode, we explore the impossible story of a megacity fighting to stay above water. The main cause is simple and dangerous. Too much groundwater is being pumped from beneath the city. Jakarta doesn't have enough clean piped water, so millions of people rely on underground wells. As that water is removed, the land above it collapses. Add to this the immense pressure of heavy buildings, rapid urbanization, and naturally weak soil. Then factor in rising sea levels, poor drainage, and extreme rainfall. The result? The city is falling faster than engineers can even measure. Jakarta was founded way back in 397 AD on a swampy delta at the mouth of the Siloam River. The land was never stable. Over centuries, the city expanded across soft clay, reclaimed land, river floodplains, and coastal wetlands. These foundations shift easily. As the city grew into a megacity of over 10 million people, the land just couldn't support the weight. In North Jakarta, the sinking is visible everywhere. You see doors that no longer open, buildings that lean at odd angles, and floor levels that have to be raised each year. Sea walls crumble and streets vanish underwater. Families are forced to build their homes higher and higher. People live with a constant fear, not just of the sea, but of the next flood. During high tides, the ocean pushes back through the drainage canals. Storms flood the streets, but Jakarta keeps going markets open, kids play, fishermen return. Because of this, Indonesia is doing something extraordinary, building an entirely new capital city, Nusantara, 1,300 kilometers away on the island of Borneo. The government hopes Jakarta will survive, but no longer as the political center of the nation. Engineers are fighting back with giant sea walls, river deepening projects, and new water supply systems. Jakarta is a city built on unstable ground, shaped by centuries of migration, trade, and ambition. It sinks, it floods, it drowns, and yet, against all odds, it is still standing. Thanks for watching.